Welcome. Today is Tuesday of the 22nd week of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Ben. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Yes, our God is a forgiving God, a God of mercy. So we ask him now to have mercy on us and to forgive whatever sins you and I may have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. <clears throat> Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. And I chose the Mass in the time of pandemic. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying. Strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now, the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord, the Lord is, is just in all, all his ways. ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The, the Lord, Lord is, is just, just in, in all, all his ways. ways. 
Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The, the Lord, Lord is just in all his, his ways. ways. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The, the Lord, Lord is, is just, just in all his ways. ways. <clears throat> the Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The, the Lord, Lord is just, just in all, all his ways. ways. blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily proclaim his good news in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon. And he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. If you paid attention to the first reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, Paul mentions the Spirit of God five times. So I would like to share Pope Francis' homily on this passage from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Pope Francis says, We human beings... Left to our own strength, we do not understand the things of the Spirit. There are two spirits, two ways of thinking, of feeling, of acting. That which leads me to the Spirit of God and that which leads me to the Spirit of the world. And this happens in our life. We all have these two spirits, we might say. The Spirit of God, which leads us to good works, to charity, to fraternity, to adore God, 
to know Jesus, to do many good works of charity, to pray. So all these are the works of the Spirit of God in us. And there is the other spirit, the spirit of the world, which leads us to vanity, pride, sufficiency, gossip, a completely different path. A saint once said, our heart is like a battlefield, a field of war where these two spirits struggle. In the life of the Christian then, we must fight in order to make room for the Spirit of God and drive away the Spirit of the world. And a daily examination of conscience can help to identify temptations to clarify how these opposing, opposing forces work in our lives. It is very simple. We have this great gift, which is the Spirit of God, to help us to make sure that we always follow the right path. But on the other hand, we know we are weak. We are sinners, and we still have the temptation of the spirit of the world. In this spiritual combat, in this war of the spirit, we need to be victors like Jesus. Every night, a Christian should think over the events of the past day to determine whether vanity and pride prevailed or whether he or she has succeeded in imitating the Son of God. We seek God's understanding and love as we humbly offer our prayers of supplication. For church leaders, that their words and actions may inspire each of us to take up our cross and follow Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the world's policymakers, that they will approach their mission with mindfulness of the need for global peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For students, teachers, and administrators at the beginning of a new school year, that they will approach the challenges with the love of learning, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. <clears throat> For those who feel unable to bear the burdens of their cross, that they may find strength and hope in the example of Jesus and the support of this community of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For those who find it hard to trust their neighbors, that they'll work toward a dialogue of mutual respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the men and women who have served and continue to serve our country in the military and for their families and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Deacon Ed Moser, Tammy Wilson, Gabby Short, Joanne Schlemmer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For all who have died, especially Father Jim Burson, Nancy Johnson, Mary Pat Smith, Dora Rodriguez, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold silently in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Heavenly God, it is beyond our ability to fathom your infinite kindness. Hear these prayers we earnestly offer in the name of your beloved Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Humble spirit and from the right heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the may Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory, and glory of his name, for, for our, our good, good and the good, good of all this holy, holy church. church. Accept, O oh Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so, with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth, earth are, are full, full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, <clears throat> when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, o Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial 
of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, the, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the Amen. peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, of, Lamb God, of God, you take, take away, away the sins, the sins of, the world. of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. O oh God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.